Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. Today we are going to be hanging out with you guys and showing you a little bit more of the steel battery platform. These are the battery offerings for the pro user out there for the lawn landscaping professional. And a lot of you guys turned me on to something last year that I didn't know about, which was the fact that Steel has the AP500 battery lineup, which gives you even more power and juice for this product line. Last year we were using the AP300 batteries and a lot of you guys told me, hey, you're not even using the big battery, so let's give it another shake. Let's give it another example about how we can put it in the field and see how these batteries perform under real conditions. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you guys the trimmer in use. We're gonna show you the edger in use and see how many lawns we get, little bench test here uh, for each battery for trimming and then each battery for edging. Now, really quick, as you guys know, if you guys are out there, make sure you use proper protection like gloves, sunglasses or safety glasses with that are ANSI rated, boots, long pants, all that fun stuff. Steel's a big uh, proponent of safety and PPE and you guys know so are we. So if you guys haven't seen the platform, uh, this is pretty comparable to like a 94R or a 111RX. Uh, let me show you guys really quick. If you haven't seen this battery product line, you've got their trimmer head, we've got the guard, we've got the steel twist, we've got the solid loop handle here, which is really nice, especially for some of you guys that flip edge, want a little bit of a different angle. You also have the ability to tie on, you know, a strap that goes around you to take some of that weight off if you guys have extended use or maybe you guys are mowing some tall grass. Uh, Ryan, if you want to come in here with this thing, you can see the different power modes, right? So one dot, two dots, three dots for different. You got it on the camera right there? All right, you can see the green blinking dots for the different power usage. As you guys can see, we've got the safety, the trigger. Let's start it up really quick, Ryan. Oh. So one thing that I love about battery powered units is you got that instant torque, that instant power. Now here's the deal really quick. If you guys are using this platform or maybe some of the other different brands out there that have a battery system, I'd love to hear about it. Leave me some comments down below because what I found is that the 300 batteries, we're only getting about two, maybe three houses out of it. But a lot of you guys said use the AP500 battery and you have the multiple battery charger from steel, for example, in your trailer. Some of you guys are even fancy enough to have like solar hookups, which is pretty crazy. So you charge those batteries on the go. So if you guys are incorporating a lot of this battery product into your commercial business and your fleet, let me know. I'd love to hear how you guys are using it. But a lot of jibber and jabber. Ryan, you want to go shoot some videos? Let's go trim some grass. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> This thing is nice, man. It's crazy how much torque it has with the battery. I'm barely feathering it and it just like instantly whips. So I like it. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right, let's keep going.
Hey, quick question for you guys while I got you. Do you guys bevel your edges or do you guys leave them squared off? I don't know. Also, leave me a comment down below, please. <laughs> Hey, so really quick. All right, Ryan, what's your thoughts on this thing so far? Because you you see me going over here just going ham. It's a lot quicker. Like It's the, fast. Yeah, it, it, you immediately just start to whip. It's, it's just like you were saying earlier. Instant torque. Yeah. Well, I don't want to say instant torque. I don't know if we can <laughs> legally say that, but it is very fast torque. And uh, it's a lot different than gas because you don't have to keep throttling the trigger in between the lawn, which you guys ate me alive on the last video for, which rightfully so. I think it's because I just use a bunch of trimmers that maybe need to be retired <laughs> so we're we're always uh kind of keeping up on the trigger in between lawns so it doesn't burp out but this thing is nice you can always see like where the battery's at by hitting the green dot and figuring out where the battery life is at so uh we're almost done with two lawns here with the one battery and let's uh finish this up really quick but any final thoughts if, if i wanted to sit and talk with you or i have to talk to you know foreman rob or anything like that like, cut it i have to cut it and then i have to talk and then i have to yank it and then it doesn't start and then i have to yank again <laughs> Just that's let me a, go. That's a great point. I, I did demo this to my mom and she loved it because she doesn't want to mix uh, two-stroke gas. Yep. She doesn't want gas sitting in her shed and all that mess. So in many applications, like no gas does make a lot of sense. But you guys already probably know that. So if you're already a big fan and adopter of the battery, that's probably one of the reasons you guys went that way with not having to deal with gas. Yeah. Cool. All right, all right let's keep it going. It's all you, bud.
back here really quick. So one criticism I do have that I'm gonna rip uh, for a battery just and, and just call a spade a spade is you don't get that same feedback out of a gas trimmer. So for example, what I was just trimming over uh, against those red bricks, if you guys have these, uh, you know, for the property, for your properties, when you go up to the red bricks, sometimes you have to like just kind of throttle the trigger and it kind of slaps, slaps, slaps. It kind of gets in those crevices. If you guys know, you know, uh, it's a little bit more challenging to do that with battery because it's like, even on the low setting or the, the high setting, if you just hit the throttle, it just goes full, full bore torque, right? It's just instantly to the top end. So when I'm trying to feather to like slap, slap and get that slack in the line to get into those crevices of those red bricks, it was struggling a little bit with this and I was getting whipped with the little, uh, you know, sandstone from the uh, the blocks. Not a big issue, obviously, but just one of those differences between battery and gas. With the gas, I can kind of walk the trigger and burp it a little bit, you know? But overall, not too bad. It's a little heavier than I thought, that I remember. I'm trying to maybe quantify it, but maybe like the 111RX or 111R, whatever it is. We got more cells in the 500, so. Maybe it's heavier that way? Yeah. I don't know. It's well balanced though. <laughs> yeah. I feel like Riddick, you know, it's well balanced, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We got uh, just the backyard and we'll see what else we can get out of this thing. One thing I was just gonna say to also give some credit back to the battery mower or the battery trimmer after that last one was, I mistakenly put it back on the one green dot. So I guess if you do need to feather around those bricks, you can just feather around the bricks with the lower battery setting. I didn't even think about that. I didn't think about that either until I just said what I said that I'm walking in the back and it was on yeah. one and it did inside that play place. And I was like, wait a minute, I could just turn this down too. <laughs> We're learning every day, folks. <laughs> uh, we got one battery left. I was just saying uh, it's blinking. So we're at four lawns, kind of, well, this would be five technically, but one yeah. was like a half lawn. So not a lot of trimming, but let's go do this one and we'll see what we can get to. Probably plop out on the the first second. Always check your corners. What's that? Always check your corners. I did. <laughs> Safety first. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> Couldn't make this up. Oh, where I read, I don't know if it's showing. I had one green dot and it just died. So we got, help me out, mental math, four? Four. So just around four lawns. All right, well, that's four lawns on the 500 battery. Uh, we got two lawns on the 300 battery this same time last year. So I don't know, don't hold me uh, to the coals, you know, guys, like exactly how many linear feet that is. But if you guys, uh, are using one of these and you got, I don't know, 20 lawns a day or something like that, or maybe 12 one acre sites, I don't know. Maybe you have a, a four pack or a six pack of the batteries. I think Steel's got one of those wall charger systems that you can always invest into. Um, or like the backpack thing, I see some of you guys rock that. Um, but anyway, well, that's all the trimmer uh, stuff that we got for right now. You guys wanna go check out the edger? That's all you. Let's you, do it. You love using the, uh, the stick edger. So let's go do that and uh, we'll catch up with you guys in one quick second, but <laughs> funny, they actually died on this lawn. How's the power? It, it is crazy good. Crazy good? Honestly. Yeah, it's like instant. Yeah, and, and uh, the gas powered ones, like if I get into the dirt, yeah. you're gonna bog down. Right. This one, no bogging. Yeah, <laughs> battery has its perks. It's that instant acceleration, you know? Yeah. Instant torque. Check, battery check. 
Oh, two dads. How did you like it? It's good. Uh, it's it's. A, I wouldn't say it's a lot better than gas powered. Okay. Um, there, it's like you were saying, instant. Like, just like you know, any other battery operated instant torque. Yeah. Um, now, if only we could do 20 of them. Right. Well, wow, a single <laughs> tank or single charge, you know. <laughs> right. But that's the idea, I guess. If you get the six pack battery pack or you know whatever you guys need, but uh, overall. A lot a of lot, power. A lot lighter too. Lighter? Yeah. On this one? Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. So you couldn't make this up. Your battery just literally died. Where did we get to? Right at the mailboxes. All right. So we had all the way down here. We got this boulevard. What this would have been the fourth lawn? Yeah. So we did that, that one, this one, that one, front. The HOA and entrance and yeah. now this HOA boulevard. Yeah. So four lawns with one battery. That's an improvement because the last battery, the 300 series, we got two lawns. And I know every square foot and linear foot is different, but nonetheless. So what do you think about the edger with the battery now that you've had a whole battery through it? Uh, I like it. Uh, you can say no too, by the way. <laughs> Bi I want a bigger battery. <laughs> bigger battery, yeah, yeah. Maybe they I, they have the backpack set up, which is actually probably oh. enough for the whole day. Like you've ever seen like the turtle shell battery? Yeah. So with a plug-in, uh, I could see that being the future. Yeah. But nonetheless, but I do agree. Then, then it comes down to weight. Right. That, and then you know it, it would be the almost probably the same weight as a as, backpack blower maybe even more than a black backpack blower yeah get an extra 20 pounds in your back may or may not be the most fun uh <laughs> in 90 degree heat in the summer amen. right so all right well cool well like i just said with mark it's got its applications and uh you know everybody's different but look at that edger blade it's uh almost gone so time to uh it switch used. it out regardless yeah all right, cool. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap this thing up here. I just want to say a quick thank you guys for watching and shout out to the Steel Team for supporting the Shop Tour Series and sending a couple of these battery products out here to just showcase for one more time for you guys. So this is uh, their Pro Battery Built for Work line. I think the FSA is uh, just an incredible lineup and uh, a lot of potential in it. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. You guys be the arbiter of truth over here. You guys let me know. Is this what's going to be the, uh, the future of our businesses in the next couple of years? You guys want to uh, adopt some of this product for your company? Love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Performance is there. Still got to keep working on that battery life. But there's an honest review. Honest review. All right. Over now, guys. You have a beautiful rest of the day. Look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one.